you. In short, um, I'm, um, I share the concerns that other people have raised about the Special Legislation Committee. Um, I did, um, it's completely arbitrary what legislation gets sent there. Um, we've seen the Senate. Um, I looked at what legislation gets sent to the Special Legislation Committee, and some that I can't figure out why they put it there. Um, so it just um, it, there should be um, it should be clear um, when a bill is introduced what committee is going to go into it for a hearing, and there shouldn't be an arbitrary ability. Oh, Sorry. Um, for the Special Legislation Committee, there should not be an arbitrary ability to send bills to, to a special legislation committee just because you want somebody else to hear it. Um, I'm, uh, I'm also in favor of a number of the reforms that people have mentioned, um, the, um, requiring um, the, a two-thirds vote to suspend the rules, requiring um, sub-A's of any kind to be available for 48 hours before a vote, um, and, um, and um, reforming the discharge petition so that it's, uh, so that it's um, the dis um, discharge petition can be walked around the floor, um, and I would add, um, if a discharge petition does get 38 signatures, there should be a hard deadline of, say, 30 days. Within 30 days, it has to be countered for a vote. Um, there shouldn't be any way to delay a bill once it gets up uh, duly, once it gets 38 signatures on a discharge petition. Um, Main thing I want to speak about is the um, is the sexual harassment rules, which are um, which I think are, are so badly drafted they should just be scrapped. Um, there are many flaws with them. Um, it requires um, people um, who are victims of harassment to report the harassment immediately. So if you don't report the harassment immediately, you and you're the victim, you become in violation. Um, it doesn't clearly require, it says harassment is required reported to a supervisor, but doesn't clearly require the supervisor to pass the harassment complaint on. Um, it's, um, it, um, there is a, um, um, a committee of conduct whose duties are very unclear, um, been made up of fellow politicians, including possibly harassers, who um, have a big role in deciding what the, um, what the, um, whether that any action should be taken on the um, harassment. Um, and um, if um, a case of harassment are reported against the politician, it's, um, there's, um, there's, um, the public doesn't even get to know that a harassment case is open, even if the investigation drags on and on. So you can just kill a harassment case by letting the investigation drag on and on, and the public doesn't even know that there is a case open. I think there should, uh, if you're going to have these, um, if, if, I think the public should know if there are um, charges of harassment and then um, know whether they, those have been resolved. Another problem is that the, um, but, uh, yes, I wrapped up. The last thing is that the arrest, um, that um, this um, takes what I consider to be an outdated approach to sexual harassment by saying that um, sexual harassment is only a problem if it amounts to employment discrimination. I think it's better to, um, their sexual harassment can occur um, against people who are not employed by the House, um, and um, it, it, um, it should be, and unfortunately this bill says it's only um, it, um, when it has a discriminatory effect on employment, is, is there any action? I think um, it should be made clear that there are some kinds of conduct that are unacceptable, whether or not they have discriminatory effects on employment. Um, and I, um, I would hope that the House would be a leader on this, but unfortunately we are not, so thank you.